You can easily add social logins into your application thanks to the Privy SDK and it takes literally two seconds. In the last video, I showed you how to set up a simple React application using the Privy SDK and all you have to do is call this login method and bang, you're in. And in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to implement the social logins. Just to quickly recap on this setup, all you need in your main.tsx file is a provider here, which is the preview provider that wraps around your application. And then all you have to do is pass through your app ID into this provider, and that's it. Close this, close this, and let's just close that. Now, the hook also provides a user object. So if I just get this out and console log, right, open up the browser tools, console, we can see it's null. So that means we're not logged in. Now, in your Privy dashboard, make sure you have an account. It takes two seconds and head over to your login methods. Scroll down. I've enabled the Google, Discord, Twitter, GitHub and Farcaster login methods. These all have default credentials. That means that you do not need to set up anything. It just works right out of the box. Let me show you. So if I go back to our app, click login, you can see if I click on other socials here, we have Google, Twitter, Discord, GitHub and Farcaster. Let's select Google. And there we go. Check our console. Open up this user object here. Let's just uh, make it a little bit bigger. You can easily see the authenticated status of the user. Let's open up the linked accounts. The, now the linked accounts array contains all the different login methods a user has used on your application. So we can see we have email in the last video. We have uh, embedded, which is the privy embedded wallet. So just the Web3 wallet by default. And we also have the Google OAuth here. Log out. And if I click log in again, I can choose any other method. So as you can see, this is so easy, so quick to set up. Um, again, this is non-custodial, so you don't you do not have to worry about managing users' private keys or getting sued by the, you know, sec or whatever. If you do want to have uh, your own custom branding or more tight security, customized security, that is where you would need your own API credentials. So if I head back over here, click on this icon, there's a client ID and client secret. Now the Google for Google, you would need to have a Google Cloud account. Google have their own tutorial on how you can do this. It's very easy. You just set up your application credentials on their console, paste in the ID in secret here, and then you'll have your own branding and customize your own uh, authorization flow, basically. Now, for Spotify, LinkedIn, TikTok, and Apple, you do need your own credentials for these as the Privy SDK cannot provide their own default credentials. And just as a side note, it might take you a couple of weeks to get these ones set up. So Apple and LinkedIn, it even says here, it can take a couple of weeks to get these set up. So you should do this in advance. Perfect. So in this video, you've learned how to add social media logins easily into your Web3 application uh, with minimal setup. It doesn't cost anything, at least for now, unless you go to production. Um, so yeah, any questions, ask in the comments below. I'll be happy to help. Thank you guys, and I'll see you soon.